What up, family? It's 9 million. I'm back with another vlog, y'all. Another day getting to another dollar. Today, just like any other day. Starting off early. <laughs> Starting off early in the day. Oh, I'm going to drop some plants off. Taking a few of these plants to bro's house. Because we moving, y'all. Well, we moving to ain't no ain't no balcony or nowhere for us to have no plants. So taking these to Broski house where he got some land. You feel me? <laughs> All right, let me use my hands. I'll be back a little bit. Get that light button for me, please. I guess this brings me to a point. Remember I told you I got some, I'm working on some things, got some different ideas. I'm not gonna speak on yet. I said that a little while back. Well, one of them was potentially moving. That was definitely a potential. We just worked this out like mad short, uh, short notice. It's gonna work out. Um, another was, what I started working on was the massage stuff. I need to make sure my license and stuff, because I know I haven't been on top of everything. I need to make sure I was still able to be able to do that work. So I didn't want to speak on it until I knew for sure I was able to. And as you see, I got that going, which brings me to my point, which is around this time last year is when I started Millie's Hauling. That's when I started doing this jump removal and you know, using the apps to get around, um, you know, and market myself. Um, along with other marketing stuff too. I got Yelp, um, I have my website, Google ads, Facebook ads here and there when I can, Instagram, um, contact, like direct, direct contacting, um, so far Instagram and email. I've Instagram and emailed, um, numerous 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 amounts of real estate agents and property managers pulling up on property on, on property and passing out flyers and talking to property managers going to storage units talking to storage units and trying to get in my work with them um not to say i've done it all because i definitely haven't done it all and i definitely need to stay on top of everything that i just said but uh yeah, I just had that to say. I've been working. I think I did all right within a year's time frame. Not great, that's for damn sure, but I think I did okay. Um, let's see, what else, what else? Oh, so I said all that to say I started this business around this time last year. Um, to bring me into the new year already rolling. Same thing with this massage. I just got everything situated with that. I got the LLC, insurance, all of that going now to bring me into the new year already in the flow of things, not figuring it out. You feel me? I employ y'all to do the same. We only got a few days left, but use those few days to, to get whatever your new year's goals are. Get started on them now, straight up. If you got the goal, it should be written down. If you ain't got it written down, start there, write it down, make it reality, and then put put some type of action towards it. Straight up. No, don't be waiting. Don't be one of them people that's talking about what you want to do. Ooh, what I want to do. I got plans to do and all that. Like, if you got plans, like, what steps are you taking? Straight up. I just told you the first step, which is writing it down. Second step is actually um, putting putting forth an effort towards that goal. If you're short on money, then you need to start a savings. If you got $2 in your pocket, a dollar of that needs to go to the savings. Straight up. So at least you have a dollar saved towards your goal. That's how that works. And 
then every dollar after that, you're putting 10%. You're putting at least 10 cents of that dollar into that same same savings. And you're going to watch that shit accrue. And as it grow, you, have, you know what I mean? Obviously, you get the money towards your goal. Um, that's just one avenue. I said that to say, in a lot of words, <laughs> don't wait. Get to work now, y'all. Get to work now. Because next year... It's a booming. It's gonna be booming, man. I'm putting it. I'm putting it out there. It's gonna be booming. It's gonna be my best year ever. It's gonna surpass all my fighting years. It's gonna surpass all my other years of working. <laughs> all that. This next year is gonna be it. I already got the the foundation is strong. You feel me? So it's just time to work. It's time to go. It's time to push, push. Not let the gas off. I let the foot off the gas, I should say. Uh, Alright, y'all, I'm going to drop these plants off. I'll check back in with y'all a little bit. Peace. Alright, just got the bro crib. Let me go ahead and give, get him some shine real quick, man. If y'all will, go ahead and show him some love on the social media platform. That's it. Yes, another self-employed person uh, close to me. I mean, much appreciated. Hey, yo, talk all flamed up. What's happening? What's happening? Huh? You see me now? Like a motherfucker? <laughs> Shining in the light. Like a motherfucker? <laughs> What's good with you? Cooler. Hey, why you, why you in my room? Because I got them plants. Where you want me to put them? Actually, I was gonna put them right out here in the front. I was gonna have the girls paint the buckets. Oh, no, what's your uh, address, bro? <laughs> He's like, nah. <laughs> I'm gonna have the girls paint the buckets for you. You know what I mean? Uh, nah, that's unnecessary, yeah. Don't worry about it. They're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Thank you. Look like a 49ers fan, man. I see it. I see it. Like that. Anything, it look like it. <laughs> yeah, they probably would like that shit, huh? Sorry, Plants. Y'all stand up nice and strong, foe. Oh. Y'all ready to eat though, huh? Look at that. They was standing up, man. You messed up. Take the hops down. out here risking our lives today y'all just started raining i thought i was gonna be able to avoid this today on this trip i should say not today i knew it was gonna rain but i thought i was gonna be able to avoid the rain going to get this mattress but it's looking like i'm not and california drivers ooh, well at least san diego i ain't gonna speak for all of california but i'll speak for san diego these mugs cannot drive when it rains bro well, I, I guess I'm lucky. I guess I'm lucky and blessed and all of that. Whatever you believe in. I guess I'm lucky that I was raised in the Midwest because I learned how to drive in the snow, the rain, all that. Matter of fact, when I had driver's ed in school, it was during the winter. Parallel Park when it was snow and ice out. You feel me? So, yeah. Anyway, look at this. Just look at this shit. 
<laughs> Come on, bro. I've been slowed up for you, bro. Come on, man. Get your ass over. Too fast. I'll pull this camera back out when I get there, unless I see something on the road. Peace. It's looking like I don't need to go to do this uh, mattress pickup after all. I was the helper on the job, um, and the lead on it, he just called me right now and said that he already took care of it. He was able to get it, um, get it situated by himself. So, yeah works for me cool easy peasy thanks for tuning in yo i guess i'll be back later if something pop off if not it's been fun <laughs> it's been the easiest day ever <laughs> all right y'all i'm back at the crib now it's raining hard in the mud so i highly doubt if i get any more work for junk removals or moving or whatever i may be able to pull something off um, as far as the massage goes, I'll check my fishing lines and see what I can pull in. But other than that, man, this work day is coming to a wrap. If anything pops off, I'll pull the camera back out, but this probably going to be it. So uh, I'm going to go in the house and just focus on, on packing. All right, so apparently we not finished for the day. Almost finished. The uh, crib we moving into is niece's crib. And she's getting ready to get deployed, you know what I mean? So we helping her move all her stuff in the storage so we can move our stuff into the crib. Last minute thing, who knew? <laughs> but need my hands, y'all. Yeah.